Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. I'm Joanne. And um, I'm going to be showing you in this video how to remove the burr. Uh, before I show you this, let me just say that we've used the Apex for months. Fairly heavy use. Lots of coffee has gone through it, kilogram after kilogram. And have never encountered a situation where we have to remove the burr. As far as we can tell, the only occasion where you would need to do this procedure is if a foreign object gets caught between the two burrs. Okay? This is the position where we left after the disassembly for deep cleaning video. Okay? The frame and the, and the chassis has been removed from the outer housing. Planetary gear off, cover off, and this is where we are. Okay, so you want to know how to get to this point, watch that video and that'll get you to this point. Okay? Now, as I said, as from a recreational point of view, fine, it's great recreation. Get some good tools and it's even more fun. But from a maintenance point of view, not really necessary unless there's a foreign object. So let's say we have to remove the burr. So I will proceed. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the outer frame. I've got a 10 millimeter box end. Uh, I think this is called a spanner in certain cultures. Okay, so I got a 10 millimeter spanner or a wrench, and I've got a four millimeter hex driver. Okay, I prefer the drivers because they're easy to use when you do a lot of this. I put the wrench on the bolt underneath, right there, on the nut. Wrench goes on the nut. Barb's gonna try to get in nice and close to show you this stuff. Take out this one. Set the nut aside. There's that one. Take out this one. Break them free. There's two. Oh, didn't drop that on the ground. All right. There's those ones. Now there's one more under here. Remove this one. Okay. Now I've got off the frame. Okay, since after removing the burr, you're going to have to realign the, the burr set. So that procedure, I prepare for that basically by removing the spring plate. Break you one need to hold free. that spring plate in place because the spring will push it out. Spring pops it out. When you undo the second screw. Out comes one. So I'm, I'm holding it pretty hard with my thumb right now. Let this come out. Okay, there's that part. Now, I've got the spring and the needle bearing thrust washer set. This is part of the tensioning system. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the auger spring. The auger, these two screws in the auger spring, and this one over on the other side, this is what's responsible for holding this part of the mechanism to the axle. So we remove these, and I use a two and a half millimeter straight hex. You can use a ball, hex, ball end driver, but a straight hex is a little safer on these screws. You make sure you don't strip those screw heads because if you do, it's a real difficult situation to solve. Okay, I take out one end. Now, this needs to be set down on fine, so I have clearance for my tool. Go, I go straight down on the tool. See that position? Mm -hmm. If I have it set on course, I'm at an angle, and I can strip the screw head. I set this on fine, push this down with my fingers, and loosen this screw and remove it. I lift it off with the spring, just like that. Now the only thing that's holding the axle in there is this screw here. Once again, adjustment set on fine, straight down. Out comes the last one. Okay. That was the two and a half that I used that. Now the axle is free to be removed. You grab a hold of the end of it or by the gear, 
and you pull the axle out in one smooth motion. You don't need to stop. If you, if you stop, you can kind of get it jammed in there because it's really tight tolerances. So I just take this and yank it out. There's my axle. Now I lift out these two pieces. When you do that, you lift the, the wheel part. The wheel, the auger. Lift that part, that end first, correct? Right. And kind of swoop it out. Right. It's in here like this. It's sitting there in there. Right? So, I just take a hold of it. And Your hands are in the way. That, yep. that was better. I just take a hold of it and bring it out like this. Okay. Okay? And set that aside. Now all I have left is the burr. For this I use, this is a four millimeter ball end driver. Okay? You do have this tool that came in your set. But I come in here with my ball end driver and I loosen one. As I said, I loosen it. You don't remove the screws all the way. Just I remove the loosen. I remove the second screw. Oh. But just loosen the first I one. Loosen the first one. Now mate the teeth, and this comes right out like that. You kind of turn that out of the slot. There's two slots in there. Okay, the way I did that, there's a small lock washer on there too. So, you have to mate the teeth, make sure the teeth are mated, and make sure this is nice and loose, but not too loose. So you have clearance to get back into the slot. Right, you have clearance to get back into the slot, but that's assembly. This assembly is this thing. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so that's what you've got. There's your burr. Now, you may want to get in, and after you've ground a lot of coffee, you can find some little bits from some places. You can play around with a with a, a skill blade or a pick or anything like that. Examine it. Or a light brush with a, a wire brush, brush just to clean up any stuck bits. But there's or... our burr. Okay, it was as you saw. That was pretty simple to do. We don't really recommend that you do this as part of our instruction sheet, largely because of the danger of using the wrong tool, stripping a head, improper tool use, um, scratches, general dissatisfaction. It's kind of the, if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's exactly right. I used to have that saying uh, on the wall of the shop. Yes. And I ignored it routinely. To your great to my, regret. <laughs> my great regret. And mine sometimes. And yours sometimes. Okay, so now you have a situation where uh, anything that you need to address is completely open if you need to clean, you know, what, whatever. But now we've broken this down to its component parts. Okay, we've got the burr out. So how much time does that take? Eight minutes. Eight minutes? Okay, that's how we take it out. Now I think we'll just come back on another video so we have a lot of time to show you how to put it all back together. We'll be back. We'll be back.